very warm welcome to our balancing class. I hope you are all doing well in these days. In this class, we are going to understand regarding test tests. Students, in my previous video, I have explained it regarding where the test tests will get originate and when and how they will get descends into the scrotal sac and they are even how they are connected with the abdominal cavity and how they remain inside the scrotal sac throughout the entire life. In detail, I have discussed about the very basic things over there. You can watch that video by getting a link I have given in my description box. As I have told, today we are going to discuss about testes. So for that, we will magnify one of the testes and we will understand regarding that. Right now, you might be observing the testes is oval in shape and it having a length is about 4 to 5 centimeter and width is about 2 to 3 centimeter. And each testes are covered by three different lines. Outer layer is called as a tunica vaginalis, middle is called tunica albuginea and inner one is called as tunica vesculosa. All these three layers are protecting the testes and even they are uh, making the compartments inside the testes and they are providing the nutrition to the testes also. And inside the testes there are the highly coiled tubules are there. Those tubules are called as uh, seminiferous tubules. Now we will understand by taking an sectional view of the testis. If you take on the sectional view, we will find that there is an outer layer, tunica vaginalis. This is a layer, this is a single layer, this is a double layered protective layer. So it has two layers. One is inner layer and other one is outer layer. And in between these two layers, we will find the presence of space. And in that space, there is a fluid called as vaginalis fluid. Tunica vaginalis along with its fluid protecting the testis from mechanical shocks. When scrotum ke upar kuch mechanical pressure on the scrotum, the testis will not happen because it is on tunica vaginalis and it is also on the fluid. Bhi hai. Inside to the tunica vaginalis layer, we will find the presence of one more layer called as an tunica albuginea. This layer plays a very important role. Because this layer is got intercepted. A layer testis ka under bhi kuch septums bana rahe. It is forming a septum. And due to the formation of the septum, testis is got divided into number of compartments. Probably aap yaha dek rahe. A compartment hai. This is the another compartment. This is the one more compartment. Like that compartments are there. What to call these compartments? These are called as testicular lobules. Each testis is divided into 250 testicular lobules. Students, when you ask a question, how many testis are in the testicular lobules? Then 250. And you can ask a question, how many testis are in the testicular lobules? Are you getting the difference between the testis and testis? Whenever they are asking the testis, they mean about the single. And whenever they are asking about the testes, it means they are asking you about both the testes together. What will be your answer? If they are asking the testes, then your answer is 250 testicular lobules. And if they are asking you about the testes, then your answer must be 500. And inside to this layer, will find the one more very important layer. This layer is called as tunica vasculosa. This is vasculosa layer. Hai. A, under kuch bhi jo structure hai, testis ke andar, seminiferous tubules rate, aur bhoot sare udar cells bhi rate. To those, all the structure, tunica vasculosa is providing the nutrition. And in every compartment, or in every testicular rubble, we will find the presence of highly coiled seminiferous tubules. These are the seminiferous tubules. In every testicular rubble, we will find about 1 to 3 seminiferous tubules. They are plays a very important role, students. Jo sperm's production rata, spermatogenesis hum jisko kate hai, o a seminiferous tubules ki hi andar hote rate. Means the sperms are, male gametes are, producing inside the seminiferous tubules. If you ask by the question where the sperms are produced, then tell me what is your answer right now. 
It is not simply the test students. Your answer is most precise. It must be seminiferous tubules where the sperms are produced. ये जो sperms इसका अंदर जो product produce होता, वो seminiferous tubules के साथ ऐसे ही pass होते हैं। इधर एक tubular network जैसा एक structure रहता है। at the mediastinum of testis means at the middle of the testis we will find the network tubular network you can find here the presence of tubular network whatever this tubular network is there it is called as an rate testis and then the rate testis is going to leads into the 10 to 12 irregular lumen having the tubes those are called as vas efferentia and then vas efferentia are finally opens into the epididymis. You might be observing the epididymis over here. Means usually epididymis is going to initiate at the head of the testis, means at the top of the testis, and then descend, and then it is going to ascend with the next tubular structure. Whatever the structure of the epididymis you are observing at the head region, it is called as caput. Probably you might be observing the red color marking over there. This is the caput epididymis. And then the whatever middle portion of epididymis is there, we call it as a corpus epididymis. Our jo last portion jo hai, usko hum quada epididymis karte. It means the epididymis has got divided into three different portions: caput, corpus, and quada. And whatever this quada epididymis is there, it is the one which will ascend along with the, the next tubular part it is called as was difference and this was difference is going to join with one more duct coming from the seminal vesicles and then it forms ejaculatory duct right side ejaculatory duct will be there and left side ejaculatory duct will be there both they are going to open into urethra and the urethra pass through the penis and it is going to open at the tip of the penis about that things we will understand in the next classes but right now probably might be understood regarding how the test is internally made up of students a each and every compartment may seminiferous tubules to hai lekin uska beech mein jo aap space dekh rahe hain a space aur ek aisa hi specialized tissue se bhara hua rehta it is filled by the specialized tissue what that specialized tissue it is called as interstitial tissue the interstitial tissue is the one it is like the interstitial tissue is uh, the one type of uh, connective tissue it is uh, the loose connective tissue areolar tissue you can say we'll understand that things in the next slide in detail now you can observe this is what the things i have explained to you students okay we will take a cross section now suppose if you cut the testis in this way then we'll see that what all the parts are going to appears we will find the outer layer as a tunica vaginalis and as a, i told you students it is made up of the two layers inner and outer so this is the inner layer and in between the outer and inner tunica vaginalis layer we will find the presence of one more fluid there uska naam kya bata hai mai oh fluid ka naam vaginalis fluid hum kahte now you can observe this is the vaginalis fluid then Inside to this layer, we'll find the presence of one more layer. That layer is called as a tunica albuginea. And this is the one which has made the compartmentalization of the testis. And inside to this layer, we'll find the presence of one more layer called as a tunica vasculosa. And inside to the tunica vasculosa, we'll find the presence of so many seminiferous tubules. Yes or not? So, in this section, you will find the presence of circular structures. What these circular structures are representing students here? They are nothing but the seminiferous tubules as we have taken the section in this way. And I told you there is a one specialized tissue in between these seminiferous tubules. What that specialized tissue is called as? Interstitial tissue. Right? You can find here the seminiferous tubules. And in between the seminiferous tubules, we will find the presence of a specialized tissue called as an interstitial tissue. This interstitial tissue is contained number of blood vessels. 
I told you it is just like the areolar tissue. Here even I have taken the picture from your first year syllabus. It is the loose connective tissue, areolar tissue. Are you observing so many cells inside the areolar tissue? Yes. Even in this also, those all the cells are going to observe. And whether are you able to see the presence of blood vessel here? Yes. I have shown the one of the blood vessel over here. You can see many more blood vessels are there inside the interstitial tissue. And in between that, there are the number of other cells are there. Irregular cells you are observing here. Whatever these all the cells are there, these cells are commonly called as an immunocompetent cells. What are all the cells we are considered as an immunocompetent cells? Count counts the cells from immunocompetent cells bol ke samasakte. Jo kuch bhi cells humko immunity de raha hai. So disease resistance humko de raha hai. Un sare cells ko hum immunocompetent cells kate. You can observe here this the macrophage as well as number of WBCs they have even shown here. Whether all these cells are giving us the protection from the infections or not and even there are the mast cells are there all these cells are protecting us from the infection so either a common word use kare un sare cells ke so immunocompetent cells inside the testes will find the presence of many immunocompetent cells and in between that we will find the one more very specialized cells those specialized cells are known as interstitial cells why? Because they are present inside the interstitial tissue. I told you this tissue is called as an interstitial tissue. So inside to this, there is a presence of the one more specialized cells. These specialized cells are known as interstitial cells or even we call them as an Ladig cells. Because Ladig naam ka scientist is cells ke sare jankari de diye. E cells ka role kya hai? O kya secret kar rahe hai? Aur uska functions kya rahte hai? Sare ka sare details leading nam ka scientist ne humko de diye. Because of that, after his study, we started to know these cells as an leading cells. But before him, they are commonly called as an interstitial cells only. Right? In the NCRT book, what they have did students? They have not taken the entire this picture, but they have taken the small piece of it to observe under the microscope. In the NCRT book, what they have made is they have take, selected the small piece of uh, testis. Suppose uh, this is what the small piece of the uh, testis they have selected and they have cut it and uh, then they made the thin sections of that portion and started to observe under the microscope. And in the microscope it will appear like this. Yeah, kya dikh rahe? So, ye jo circles hai, ye sare ka sare circles, ye seminiferous tubules hai. Testis ka andar jo seminiferous tubules hai, wo seminiferous tubules hai. Aur uska beech mein jo kuch bhi area aapko dikh raha hai red color ka. So this whatever the portion is there, it is nothing but the interstitial tissue. And inside this interstitial tissue, we will find the presence of blood vessels, even the nerve endings. And we will find the presence of uh, immunocompetent cells. As well as uh, we will find the presence of uh, interstitial cells. And all those are there here. And inside the seminiferous tubules, you observing here, the number of other cells also. So it, we are going to understand about all those internal cells inside the seminiferous tubules in the next class. What we will do is in the next class we will just magnify one of the seminiferous tubules and we will understand it in detail way. I hope again this video has become useful for all of you. Please make the notes, understand all those things remember all those points whatever i have told you students and here we have discussed regarding the interstitial tissue and inside that one of the very specialized cells those are called as an ladic cells and about the role of the ladic cells also i am going to explain you in the next videos they are the one who are responsible for secretion of testosterone and as you know that the testosterone plays a very important role in our body testosterone is the one which will even help boys to become a man. Are you understanding the difference between the boys and man? Means that testosterone will making them to become the fertile human being. Before the secretion of the testosterone, they are not fertile. By that time, the spermatogenesis is not occurring. But the testosterone is the one which will make them to become a man. 
that all the things we will understand in my next videos thank you students once again for your patiently listening to the class and uh, preparing the notes and uh, even sketching all these diagrams properly yeah that will help you a lot to understand regarding the male reproductive system thank you once again and if you are not yet subscribed to my channel please do subscribe so you can able to get the notification of my all uploaded video immediately thank you once again